Good day to everyone. I am Dr. Nirmala, Department of Mathematics, Satibama Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai. In this lecture, we are going to see a glimpse on contour integration, a subfield in the field of complex analysis. So, in the introduction, we can see what is meant by a contour as well as contour integration. So, in complex analysis, contour denotes a type of curve in the complex plane and contour integration is a method for evaluating a real definite integral over a complex plane. Based on the concepts residues, Cauchy residue theorem, the evaluation of certain type of real definite integrals can be done over a real domain and the applications in the field of mathematics of contour integration are the summation of an infinite series as well as the evaluation of certain type of real definite integrals. But the applications in the field of engineering is vast. So in the field of electrical engineering, the Nyquist stability criterion is based on the concept, the contour integration. And in the field of civil engineering, Civil engineers uses the concept contour for finding the nature of the ground and they also uses the to identify the suitable site for the project work to be taken over and it is also applied to calculate the capacity of a reservoir and so on. Now you can see an example of contour just look into the image on the left side. The image consists of a number of unconnected Geber wavelet elements. These elements if you see they do not form an image but I can see a circle if it is possible for you to see a circle in this image. Yes. So, this circle can be identified by our mind based on the concept contour integration. So, now we will come to the main theme of this lecture that is the evaluation of certain type of real definite integral. For a particular case, the pattern of the form integral 0 to 2 pi, a function of cos theta and sin theta with respect to the variable theta is taken over here. To solve this integral, we need some basic concepts in complex analysis. So first we will look into the basic concepts. The basic concepts which are required for identifying the solution for certain type of integrals are the first one what is meant by analytic function. So a complex function is said to be analytic at a point z is equal to a if it satisfies two conditions. Number one it should have a derivative at that point z is equal to a and not only at that point also in some point in the neighborhood of that point z is equal to a. So the meaning for neighborhood is if I draw a small circle with center z is equal to a and radius very very small can be epsilon then in that case the second point z is equal to b should be outside that circle. Then in that case we call z is equal to b is the neighborhood of z is equal to a. Then we go for the second definition singularity. Whenever a function fails to be analytic at a point z is equal to a, we call that point as a singular point of the function. So now from these two definitions we can identify one thing both are opposite in nature. So, if a point is analytic then surely that point can't be a singular point. If it fails to be analytic then that is called a singular point. Now, we will move on to the third definition pole. So, pole is nothing but uh, uh, for any singular point we call the singular point as a pole only when a condition is satisfied. That condition is nothing but as limit z tending to infinity, z minus a the whole power in f of z is not equal to 0. Now, here this condition if it is satisfied, I will call that point z is equal to a, which is a singular point already, is a pole of order m. So, here 
if the n value is 1, then we call it as a simple pole. If n value is 2, we call it as a bipole or a pole of order 2, etc. It goes on. Now, we will move on to the next definition, residue at a pole. So, based on the concept pole, we are calculating a numerical value which is called as residue. What is residue? Residue is nothing but the value of the integral 1 by 2 pi i integral over c f of z dz. So, this is calculated at each and every pole of a function f of z. Now, we will come to the final result which is Cauchy residue theorem. So, this was denied by the mathematician Cauchy and the statement of this theorem is if f of z is analytic at all points inside and on a circle c and there are some points where they are called as poles which are nothing but I will take a finite number of poles here z is equal to z1, z is equal to z2 etc, z is equal to zn. Then in that case the integral over the curve c f of z dz the value of the integral, a complex integral is given by 2 pi i into the sum of the residues of the function at each and every pole. So, by this theorem, it is very easy to calculate the value of the complex integral. What it states? If I have a function with a finite number of poles, then I can evaluate the value of that integral by calculating the residues then sum of the residues which is multiplied by 2 pi i and that will be the solution for the integral. Yes. So, with these five basic concepts, we are going to see how to evaluate the contour integration. So, I have given you the steps based on this. So, we are going to solve the integral of the form integral 0 to 2 pi function of cos theta sin theta and the integration is with respect to the real variable theta. So, here the first step is transforming the real variable theta into a complex variable z. So, the real variable is theta and it is transformed by a transformation z is equal to e power i theta where z is a complex variable. So, when I do this transformation immediately I have to transform each and every term in the given real integral. What are they? I have to identify what is d theta in terms of the complex variable dz and also the limits. Here the real limits that is theta varies from 0 to 2 pi and I have to find out the suitable curve in the complex integral. So, all these things we are going to do based on the transformation z is equal to e power i theta. So, when z is equal to you know the complex uh, number z is r e power i theta in polar form. So, here r denotes the magnitude. So, here in the transformation we have taken z is equal to r e power i theta and hence z is r e power i theta denotes a circle with center origin and radius r. But in our case r is in the place of r I have 1. So, therefore, the circle is nothing but a unit circle. So, I have got the curve equation which is mod x mod z is equal to 1. So, the transformation is z is equal to e power i theta and correspondingly the curve which is a closed curve is nothing but mod z is equal to 1 which is a unit circle. Now, how to transform sin theta and cos theta? We know by definition sin theta is e power i theta minus e power minus i theta by 2i as well as cos theta is e power i theta plus e power minus i theta by 2. So, based on these definition of sin and cos, we are going to transform sin theta and cos theta in terms of the complex variable z and they are nothing but this. So, this is the first step in the transformation. Then we will move on to the second step which is a real integral how it is transformed. So, after doing all the substitutions in the real integral, now the real integral has been transformed into integral over c f of z dz. How to evaluate this value? As we are going to apply here Cauchy residue theorem. The real integral is this is nothing but a complex integral, but complex integral value is 2 pi i into sum of the residues of f of z at all the poles. So, this is the way how we are going to solve. So, first I have to identify for the function f of z what is the pole and the corresponding residues. 
if it is calculated it is easy to follow the value of the uh, integral right for example we have taken a problem integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by 5 plus 4 sin theta now this function this integral is of the form integral 0 to 2 pi a function of cos theta and sin theta so i am going to apply the transformation already i have given you the explanation for this transformation this is nothing but z e power i theta therefore d theta is dz by iz and sin theta is our given function so i am considering only sin theta and therefore c is this now the next step is i am transforming the real integral into complex by replacing all the transformations and therefore finally we get this is our function dz by 2z square plus pi iz minus 2. Now what is f of z here? f of z is 1 by 2z square plus pi iz minus 2. Now we will keep this as equation 1 and we are going to calculate for f of z its poles and residues. So to evaluate the poles we equate the denominator to 0 and we calculated what is z value from both and as it is a quadratic equation the roots are 2 in number and hence the poles are minus i by 2 and minus 2i. Now I have to identify which pole lies inside C and which lies outside C. Our circle is a unit circle, I have drawn the circle there and if I plot these points on the circle easily I can identify the point corresponding to this z value is nothing but the ordered pair 0 comma minus half and for the second point z is equal to minus 2i the ordered pair is 0 comma minus 2. Now if I plot in the graph I can see easily the first z point lies inside C and the second z point lies outside C. Now for the pole which lies inside C I am calculating its residue. So residue of f of z at the point z is equal to minus i by 2 is given by the formula limit z tending to a z minus a f of z. So based on that after calculation we are getting the residue value for the first pole which lies inside c as 1 by 3i. Now the second pole lies outside c therefore the residue value is 0. So the calculation of residues are over. Now we are going for the final part that is we are replacing the sum of the residues in equation 1. So equation 1 now becomes integral over c f of z dz is 2 pi i into sum of the residues. So the first residue is 1 by 3 i, the second residue is 0 and if I simplify I am getting the solution to be 2 by 3 pi. Now this is nothing but the solution of the real definite integral which is integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by 5 plus 4 sin theta whose solution is 2 by 3 pi. So this is a way how we can transform a real integral into a complex integral and for finding the solution of the complex integral we apply the concepts singularity, pole, residues as well as Cauchy residue theorem for getting a solution for the real definite integral. So with that I will complete this lecture and thank you all.